Hi, I'm Dan, the training guy over here at Loxo with a quick look at searching your internal database from Loxo source. You know, this product enhancement has been much requested by our users, and it is indeed a game changer for your workflow. So let's jump in and take a look. Okay, now the best way to illustrate this new enhancement is to show it to you within the context of the LOXO Ideal Workflow, which begins at the Jobs tab up here at the upper left-hand corner when you're logged in on your account. Click Jobs, and then you're going to use the Add Job button up here at the upper right hand corner to enter in basic information about the job that you're adding. Now we cover this job creation process in detail in our LOXO 101 basic training. So I'll spare you that. What I wanna focus on here is what happens after the job is created. You're going to click on the job title We'll use this one up here at the upper left here to open the job pipeline for the new job that you just added. So we're going to use this Azure Architect job at Talent Bank in London as our example. If I click on the job title, it takes me into the job pipeline, which is empty because we just created this job and the sourcing has yet to begin. But you guys probably have heard or you probably already know by now that the Loxo AI bots are already putting together a list of ranked recommended candidates for you. And to access those ranked recommended candidates, you're going to click on the blue add button up here at the upper right hand corner of the job pipeline. When you click there, it takes you into Loxo Source, which is our global database of 1.2 billion candidates. And you can see the results are being presented to me here. The AI recommended button up here at the top is toggled on. And we're looking at 2,460 Azure Architect type folks who are being recommended. And they are ranked. So Rolf here is number one. Richard is number two, Nick is number three, and so on. They're all stacked up here, as you can see, all 2,460 of these folks. And you guys probably already know that you have access to all the filters on the left side in Loxo Source to filter these results further and drill down into these results. The big difference with this enhancement, though, is in addition to sourcing these candidates from our database of 1.2 billion candidates, if we scroll down, you can see that we are also now sourcing candidates from your internal database in the People tab, the database that you guys are growing and curating and cultivating over time. This is now turned on automatically whenever the AI recommended bots are the AI bots are putting together this list of recommended candidates for you. And what's more, you also have access to all of the fields or filters, if you will, that you have added custom fil fields and filters that are available to you in the people tab are available to you here, in addition to all the filters that you normally have here. So to demonstrate that, let's go up top here to the usual filters that you use when you're using Loxo source like years of experience, job title, industry, and so on. If I go to years of experience, for example, maybe the client is looking for folks that are very experienced. They want people to have more than 10 years experience in their background. So if I choose that filter, I highlight that or check that, it narrows it down a little bit to 2,184 results, right? So it lopped off a couple hundred candidates in this mix. But watch what happens down below if I start to apply some of the custom filters that I have in my database and people like tags. If I go to tags and I choose, let's say, computer software, right? Now it's going to show me just those people from my internal database who I've applied that tag to. And that's going to significantly affect the results here. It drops it down to these three people, right? Guru Murti, Sunil, and Mazdak here, right? And one thing I want to point out is those candidates who are being presented to you here that show up in the results that are coming from your internal database, you'll know that because they'll have that little orange star next to their name. That indicates or tells you that this candidate was drawn or taken or pulled in, if you will, from your internal database in the People tab. If it doesn't have that star, it means that that candidate came from the LOXO database of 1.2 billion candidates. So this enhancement, which allows you to draw your sourcing from your database in addition to our database in LOXO source is really a game changer because it means that you can do the vast majority of your candidate sourcing in one place. 
on this screen here. That is the definition of a game changer in terms of your workflow. Now, all that said, I think that that's fairly intuitive, and I encourage you. Best practice is to play around with it. You know, go into uh, a job that you've already created and take a look at the AI match candidates and start to play around with the filters. So you get used to applying filters not only from the filters that we give you for Loxo Source, but the filters that you have added as custom filters in your People tab. Now that said, if you have feedback for us, or especially if you have questions about this, reach out to us here at the lower left using the question mark button on the navigation bar to chat us up at support. We crave your feedback about this enhancement. We want to know what you think about it. And we also want to know if you have any questions along the way that you need some help with. All right. Thanks for taking a few minutes out to watch this quick overview of this new product enhancement in Loxo. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.